Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on how to display information to the player using the new rules HUD system. First thing we're going to do is just add a couple of buttons here so we can have some triggers and we'll just put down some levers and that will be our buttons that we use to interact with the game system. Go ahead and rotate those and bring them up slightly. Perfect. Go ahead and remove the button and we'll add a message broadcaster to all three. Edit logic, wait before broadcast is true, and we're going to use interact. That requires the player to press E. The broadcast type will be to the rule system, and we'll leave the messages for now, and we'll go to our rule system up the top. In the rules, you'll see game screen. This is where we can display information to the player. The first one we'll discover is the display variable on HUD. When we click this, we can go ahead and put a message, uh, display.1. And we need a variable to display. Usually we display numbers. So we'll go ahead and click the plus and click next. We'll say uh, first, first number. And that first number will be 100. We want to show it at the start of the game. And you can have it on the left hand side of the screen or at the bottom of the screen. You can have five on each side to have a total of 10 variables displayed. So we'll say left hand side. Now the display order will show them in the order that the numbers are in. Since you can only display five on the left, if you put the number three and you had five numbers displayed on the left, it will be the third position. So you can change the position with this. And we'll say uh, first number. So we'll go ahead and create and we'll select that as our variable and we'll click true. So if we go ahead and press tab. You will be able to see on the left our first variable once it loads in. There it is, first number is 100. Excellent. So if we go ahead to our rule system and duplicate this, and we can go ahead and do another number. So we'll go say number two, and that number we want to display is 200 show it at the start of the game, we'll make it on the left, but we'll make it the second one in the list. And we'll say second number, perfect. And we'll have that as true and we'll select that as our number. So we'll go ahead and press tab. And you can see our second number is first and our first number is second. That's because in our order, we put display order as three for our first number and display order as two, as our second number. So if we make this two and the first one one, and then we press tab, you can see they have now switched positions. Pretty simple. Next, we wanna discover banner. So go ahead and click banner, and we'll say display dot banner. And that banner will display anything really. So if we would do the variable and we can say how long we want to display it for and we'll make this button send out the message display banner. So we we'll go ahead and press E on here. You can see the message is popped up on the screen for two seconds and this is useful for letting the player know certain information, if they're leaving or entering a new area, or if they picked up a certain item, um, all that sort of stuff is can be displayed. Now, if we go back to our rules, instead of using the number, we can go ahead and change that to text. And in the text, we can say, this is text, and say, hey, how's it going? and we can display that um, any way possible. So say notes, create, and we will select that as a variable. So now we're looking for the text for the banner. We'll go ahead and press E on the button. And you can see we got the word notes and hey, how's it going? Cool. Another thing you can do with that one is get rid of the notes and just have a space bar. So when you press E, it has no title. It's just, hey, how's it going? So it keeps it cleaner. Uh, it has different purposes, but you don't need to have 
the title up the top. And again, you can change how long that's displayed for by changing this number here. That's the duration. And lastly, we want to do pop-up window. This one's really cool. So we'll say pop as the message and say uh, dot diary and say today I discovered how to make fire out of sticks. Something like that. And we need the message pop. So go ahead and give this one the message pop. So now when we press E, we have a pop-up. Now this pop-up is great for all sorts of things. Tutorials, uh, letting them letting the player know when they've achieved something or need to do something or warnings um, and this list can be quite long there's a lot of text that can be added to this um, and the player needs to press OK no message gets sent out with the OK or the X so that's not in the game maker as far as I'm aware and that's that one there and the last thing I want to show is on the display variable we'll say uh, display dot text and a variable we want to do is a text and we'll say that to be true we'll go ahead and click tab and you can see now that the display text doesn't work on the HUD unless we tick show at the start and it's going to be at the bottom and we can say display for And there you go, now it's at the bottom. But as you can see, the banners can't be changed. Their sizing is limited. So the information you show, you have to be careful of how long it's gonna be or how many characters. And um, that's basically it. So that's HUDs and displaying information on the screen that, the, that you can use to guide the player, uh, use for tutorials, give out information as needed. There's lots that you can do with this. Hope this has been useful. Have a great day.